Welcome back to Access Carolina. Much more still to come. But first, the clothes mentor is selective about the clothing and accessories it accepts. So if it's on the rack, you know the quality is good, the fashion is current. Access Carolina's Ava Bratz appreciates that a lot. Ava, whether somebody's wanting to find their style in the new year or sustainable shopping might be on their resolutions list, they're set. You make a great point. If it's on the rack, it is not going to be there very long. So we want to give you some inspiration. So when you do arrive here at Clothes Mentor, you know what to go for. So we got Sadie Sherry here talking about some interesting 2024 looks that are really going to take over. Absolutely. So one of the things we think we'll see a ton of is ballet core. And so mm -hmm. it's beautiful. It's so feminine. Now, we don't necessarily think of it literally like a leotard and a tutu. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> but we're going to take some inspiration from those beautiful blacks and ballet pinks. Yeah. So you can see down here. We have an array of the pink colors, but nothing that looks like you're ready for dance practice, okay. right? <laughs> so one of the keys here is going to be really feminine layering. Mm -hmm. An easy way to do that is to start with something like this little bra top that's going to be fitted and tight. Now, this is where we can make it applicable for everybody. Mm -hmm. If you're looking to be more conservative, you could do a cardigan and a top on top of it. And we can see this little bow feature. Bows so and coquette cute. bows are going to be mm -hmm. a huge part of this trend. Mm -hmm. Then we've got it paired with something really classic, like a tweed fabric. And that kind of centers it, gives it a little bit of weight. Now, if you're going to dress it up, you could do an opaque tight. Beautiful. And you could do a heel with it. Mm -hmm. To keep it casual, you could do a really pretty pink flat sneaker. Or the ballet flat is coming back as well. Very true. Add some leg warmers in there. You might just take to dance practice. <laughs> and you mentioned it. The bows, even on the shoes here, that yeah. slight touch is beautiful. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the really luxurious fabric. So you can see we've got the velvet and the satin mm -hmm. laces. Things like that are going to add to that kind of luxurious feminine feeling. And fits the season. Even with this fur coat, it's, it's cold outside, but you still look like feminine, like you said. Absolutely. And lots of the sheer fabrics that you see, too. Mm -hmm. We've got polka dots and stripes. They're both going to be big again. And so something like this where you've got a lot of volume, but also the sheerness makes it, you know, very feminine yeah. and kind of sexy. Yeah. yeah. Well, you make a great point. It doesn't have to be pink. Pink. If you're not into the pink movement that we've yes. seen, they have the black and decor. even the purples and blues, they have ballet core for that too. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of those beautiful neutrals. So think the navy, think the cream, the beige, that's all going to apply here. Yeah. And for some classic looks, we were talking earlier, sometimes you you buy the trendy stuff because you want to look cute, but sometimes you get lost six months in, they're not popular anymore. What are some staples we can do? Denim is going to be huge this year. If there's one thing you buy for your closet, really invest in a great fitting pair of jeans. Yeah, yeah. and that's the hard part. Yeah, so coming is. here and finding jeans, I mean, how do you help people find the right size for them? Well, we say we carry 200 pairs of jeans at least oh at God. any point in any size. We try to have at least that many. And so we've got thousands of brands. And I tell people, go at least one size smaller than you think you are and one size bigger than you think you are. Hmm. Right? So really get in there and try, especially with these different rise heights. Yeah, yeah. We were talking earlier, those low rises, those uh, kiddos are bringing it back. I don't know how I feel about it, but I do like the big belts. But talking about washes, 2024, should we have the dark? Should we have the light? So this is going to be our classic wash that we'll see for 2024, which is a really medium wash. It's an indigo. It's got a little bit of sandblasting detail on it, which we can see here and here. Um, but I would say don't go darker than this pair here. So this yeah. will be your dark wash indigo. Right, and that's yeah. got some distressing as well. And mm -hmm. I wouldn't, for most people, for an everyday jean, I would not go lighter for this. This would be the light end of medium. Mm -hmm. And this, these are going to be your three most wearable shades. Now, if you're going to splurge, this is where you want to stay. If you're going to look for yeah. a trend or a statement piece, it's totally fine to go darker or lighter, but I wouldn't invest as heavily in those because they're going to be statement-y when you wear them. Very, very good point. So acid wash has not come back yet is what I'm hearing. Not for everyday wear. <laughs> it's got to wait its turn. Yeah. Okay, so low-rise jeans, kind of that medium wash. This is the go-to, so good for denim. And I want to just yeah. give a little love to this purse, too. Oh this is so fabulous. If you wanted to zhuzh up kind of a classic look, are you even kidding me, Margaret? The tweed, it's giving, it's giving everything. You're you let us know. The styles are all around. I can't wait to see what you shop for, but uh, the inspiration is all around. Ava, thank you.